So I think the world of Dam was always predicated on the idea of helping people consolidate their systems, save money, uh, be more effective at collaboration. And that never really was fully realized because so much is changing in the world that the broader world and the broader context that Dam is in with so much growth in channels, with so much importance of working beyond just marketing with your key assets, but really playing as an entire team, as a business, to deliver end-to-end -end customer experience. And with so much more technology in the marketing technology landscape, there's you know over 5,000 vendors now doing marketing technology. The, uh, the world of DAM hasn't really kept up with those key trends. And so what we see now in the world of DAM is the need to really rethink some of the kind of core underlying principles. And we see really six important areas of focus. One, of course, you have to have a DAM that does the things that a DAM needs to do, feature completion. The second is the importance of being able to manage assets wherever they live, so not forcing everybody to put assets into one place. The third is being cloud native, so you can take advantage of cloud services and scale as much as necessary. The fourth is having workflows and automation that are actually native to the system, so you don't have challenges of integration and uh, hopefully you have workflows that are easy for people to use. The fifth one is uh, really about having a focus on configuration rather than customization, so people don't invest a lot of money customizing a system and then being stuck with a system that they can't upgrade easily, can't change easily. And lastly, there's enormous focus on being open, so being API first so that you can integrate into whatever technologies you might have now, whatever technologies you may end up adopting a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. So that idea of openness and being led by the API is a huge change as well. Thank you.